Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Leo's weekly love message for the upcoming week. If you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. So let's dive in here, Leo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy for this week. Most important message here for Leo Spirit. What do my Leo friends need to know? Leo, I feel here what's being channeled in this message is a family conflict. I know these are supposed to be love messages. This is definitely a relationship issue, but I feel here there's a conflict within a family situation um, in your current energy, and you're needing to have patience with this situation, have patience with this process. Now, maybe this is somebody going against the grain, um, trying to fight receiving help or trying to distance themselves and maybe you don't understand why uh why there's this conflict why there's this energy of pushing you away okay i feel here leo and we're going to clarify all of this here in a moment this person is just processing something that they've been dealing with for some time internally and they're trying not to get other people involved. So let's clarify the Six of Swords, the Five of Wands with the Ten of Cup, Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. It's definitely an energy of self-care, taking care of themselves. Um, I feel like this person energetically just needs some time and space. Now, maybe there was a difficult conversation that you and this person had uh, about uh, their approach to life or their approach to your guys' relationship, and they're thinking about this. They're taking a step back and actually contemplating the message. The message is very clear here, Leo. You're needing to have a little bit more patience with the process. I feel like you, you want an answer right away. You want this to be resolved right away, and it's not going to happen that way. Okay, um, there has to be a compromise. Okay, you have to be practical about the situation. So put yourself in this person's shoes. How would it make you feel if your parent or your sibling was trying to force you to do something that they didn't want to do? Or telling you about telling you about some part of yourself that maybe you weren't ready to accept. You might push that person away, okay? Again, I do feel like there is a need to have patience with this process. This person is going to come back around. They're going to be in appreciative of the information of you bringing this to their attention. Um, but I do feel here right now in this energy, there is a distance and you don't understand why, okay? trust the process just give this person time give this person this person space to heal and they will come back around okay so let's pull a few cards out here for spiritual advice guidance moving forward thank you guys again for all the love and support this is definitely about a family conflict being resolved if you can have patience enough to give this person a little space a little time Okay, so let this person have their space. Let this person have their time to heal. I definitely feel like this happened for a particular reason. The Wheel of Fortune talks about fate, destiny. This also talks about good fate, good fortune, good positive destiny. Okay, this distance was needed. That's what I take from this message, this advice. Let this person have their space. Let this person have their time to heal. 
you need to equally take some time and contemplate. Contemplate your approach, contemplate this person's reaction, maybe what's the best approach for them to best receive the message. I do feel like the space was needed. So try to have the understanding here that there was a distance that needed to take place in order for you guys to come back together with a different perspective, a better understanding. Pull up our truth's message to sum up your reading. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Your four truths message coming out for your reading, Leo, is don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even your sadness will simply disappear if you don't take things personally. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Leo... Family conflict is in the process of being resolved, okay? Having patience is going to be the key. Give this person a little bit of time, a little bit of space to heal. They'll come back around, okay? Thank you guys again for all the love and support, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.